The idea here was that Formula One cars had turbo V8s, that whole Group B story. This brought back the Gran Turismo Omologato badge in a car of which 272 were built, all in the familiar Rosso Corsa paintwork. From factory, every single one left in this shade. A few years later, a planned run of 400 F40s. It went on to be 1,315, the epitome of a Ferrari poster car for so many people with its iconic looks, that manual gearbox, the gated setup, the twin turbocharged V8, the first car to do 200 miles an hour. But then in the early 90s arrived the F50, the naming of course 40 years of Ferrari, 50 years of Ferrari, borrowing the V12 engine developed from the Formula One car of the 1990 championship season. Open roof, gated manual, modernized looks, 349 cars in total. Then the car that wears the name of the founder of the company, Enzo Ferrari, 399 plus one additional cars in total, radically different design, appearance, look to the car. Six litre naturally aspirated V12 again. That's been a theme in the recent years up to the predecessor. I remember when the covers came off this well, LaFerrari, 499 coupes, 210 apertas in addition to those. And of course, this being one of those, well, 500 in total coupes with the extra one that was built, the first production hybrid model from Ferrari, really the tour de force of technology 